This is the lecture 3 in knowing about transformers and this lecture is about the practical transformers. We will draw the transformer equivalence circuit also the transformer phasor diagram will be drawn. And what we saw in lecture 1 was the transformer theory. We saw how a transformer works, how there is a primary winding, the secondary winding and the transfer of uh, EMF happens from the primary to secondary through magnetic linkage and the second lecture we saw an ideal transformer, a transformer which had no losses, no uh, reactance or no magnetic leakage happening and it was seen that all the power induced in the primary was transformed to the secondary. Again we will see a practical transformer in this case. A practical transformer while considering a practical transformer we will consider the resistance of the primary and secondary as R1 and R2. Also it is seen that copper losses uh, or heat lo heating losses will occur in the windings of the primary and the secondary. Also all fluxes produced in the core will not link with the windings. The primary will produce the flux and those flux will tra travel through the core and it will not uh, a link to both the windings. Some will leak through the air parts and surrounding core and this uh, flux is known as leakage flux and this will flux will give to leakage reactants XL1 and XL2 similar to the in self in uh, inductance of windings. Uh, also the leakage fl flux is known as leakage inductance which is similar to self inductance of windings. So this is uh, the changes in the practical transformer from the ideal transformer and in this transformer we will consider the losses there will be heating happening in the transformer. If you look at the diagram of a practical transformer then you, you can see that there is a core. Uh, this is a two winding single core transformer for the concentration and there is a core there is a flux which is produced in the core and the primary winding is connected to a source V1 which is alternating which will cause a current I1 to flow through the primary windings and this will cause the flux to be induced in the core and all of the flux is not induced in all of the flux is not linking to the primary and the secondary there will be some leakage flux uh, near both the primary and secondary windings which is shown by dotted line and these are known as uh, the primary leakage flux and the secondary leakage flux also the transformer secondary is connected to a load and the voltage at the output of the transformer will be V2 and the current I2 will be flowing through the transformer so this is how the simple diagram or diagram of a I practical transformer looks like and if you lump down the at frequencies close to 50 Hertz that is a normal operating frequency of the transformer in the power system the resistance and the reactance uh, happening reactance of the winding can be lumped considered as lumped parameters or or together and they can be written as R1 and X12 and R2 and XL2 so those are the leakage reactants and the resistance of the windings which are being lumped down here and it is seen that if you move down move the prime secondary uh, resistance and leakage reactants to the primary side it can be moved in the square of the transformation ratio and the voltages from the secondary can be moved to the primary side in the square of the uh, in the multiplication of the transformation ratio as seen V2 dash is equal to N1 by N2 V2 we do this so that we can draw the equivalent circuit of the transformer in a single without considering the core into consideration and we will now draw the equivalent circuit by move while by moving all the parameters from the secondary side to the primary side we see that i1 is the current which is drawn from the primary or the voltage source r1 is the primary uh, winding resistance xl1 is the primary leakage reactance and xl2 is a secondary leakage reactance which is moved to the primary side and R2 is the secondary resistance which is again moved to the primary side and I2 dash is the secondary equivalent of the current which is flowing from the primary side which is moved to the primary side that is done in the direct ratio of the transformation again V2 dash has been moved to the primary side and you can see the I0 is the current which is flowing in the core to supply the magnetizing uh, to set up the magnetizing current field and to supply the core losses. Quickly looking at the phasor diagram what you get is that from the equivalent circuit you can draw the V1 which is the supply voltage and lagging behind the supply voltage is the primary current. Also by subtracting the 
reactance and the resistance power losses you will get the E1 that is a voltage which is available at the terminal or voltage which is induced in the primary it will be always less than the primary supply voltage and again you can see the V2 and by subtracting the power losses in the resistance and the reactance you will get the terminal voltage or the voltage induced in the uh, secondary winding and the voltage available at the terminal V2 will be always less than E2 so these are the deductions which you can make from the phasor diagram and the phasor diagram can be drawn from easily from the equivalent circuit of the transformer from the equivalent circuit of the transformer also the some of the other parameters which will be found out in the nameplate of a transformer will be the ratings of the transformer and the rating of the transformer is usually done in volt amperes and it will be done in volt amperes kilowatt amperes and megawatt amperes for big transformer and the kva rating is found out by multiplying the rated voltage into full load current divided by 1000 so this is how the kva rating of any transformer can be found out That's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment.